Who is the best Spider-Man? Objectively, who did the best job? Well, today I'm going to be telling you my opinion on that particular question. A question that has pondered all superhero movie lovers around the world. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was an iconic performance that cannot be undone, in my opinion. In my opinion, he is debatably the greatest and indebatably the most important Spider-Man that has ever been caught on screen. Some negatives are he's a little bit overly emotional, some of his dialogue feels dry and unmeaningful, and... Also, he is in his mid-twenties and playing a teenager, which doesn't feel right. Next, we have Andrew Garfield. Now, Andrew Garfield is an incredibly cool Spider-Man. He's fun to watch on screen. He always has this interesting attitude coming to Spider-Man that I think could be interesting if handled a little better. Um, another great positive about Andrew Garfield is his chemistry with Emma Stone is amazing and as it's the only uh it's the only love interest in all three of them that actually adds to the character because of the chemistry now i feel like it should be that the other two do as well but they don't and i think that that's definitely something that needs to be pointed out is that his chemistry with Emma Stone is amazing some negatives for Andrew would be, first of all, on him being cool, he's a little bit too cool for Spider-Man. People could argue that Toby has a very punchable face, but I think that that punchable face is very Peter Parker-esque. When Andrew's too cool for school, you know, uh, him beating up the bully attitude isn't as nerdy and wimpy-esque as Spider-Man is when he begins to get his powers. Another negative is, since I think his performance is, is really good, the character in the, in the movie was really badly written. It seems like the writer's room just couldn't agree, so they just went with everybody's ideas, and it just doesn't work. Another negative is that he's also very old, like Toby is not quite as old, but he's also very old, and that should be noted. Finally, we have Tom Holland. Tom Holland is another great Spider-Man. One of these reasons is that he's actually the right age to play Spider-Man. He's actually a teenager, which is really, really cool. Another thing is that he's an incredibly talented actor, and for Spider-Man... That's really great, because I would say that Tobey Maguire wasn't as talented, and Andrew Garfield wasn't as physically talented, and that's obviously great to see. Some negatives about his Spider-Man would be, I think he's a little bit too technologically advanced, and that sometimes his technology just ends up solving all of his problems, and I don't like that. I don't think that's good for the character who's all about problem solving and getting back up. Um, another thing is that he's in the MCU, which makes him a little fish in a big pond, which doesn't allow for much character growth on his part. And finally, his character seems a little bit more weak than the other two, in that he doesn't carry any emo emotional depth to him. He's Whenever something goes wrong, uh, Tony is just there to clean up after him and save the day. And he doesn't have a care in the world. And I think that that just takes away from the depth of the other two. So I just realized that I gave more minus points to each one than pluses. So I'm going to speed run some pluses real quick here. Tobey Maguire has the best villains by far. Andrew Garfield has the best love interest. And Tom Holland has the best supporting actors. For the first category, I'm going to start off with something a little bit simple. Uh, I'm going to start off with the superhero suit design. Um, in third place, I'm going to give that to Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield has a very cool superhero suit in that it was supposed to look homemade, you know, innovative. I thought it was definitely, I thought it was really cool. I really like the suit. But both of the other Spider-Man suits are also really, really good. So this one's just going to get third place for me. 
Also, it doesn't look that good. I mean, the colors don't work very well. It just kind of looks kind of eh. In second place, I'm going to have the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit. The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit is really, really cool. I like the colors. It looks like a comic book. I just genuinely like the suit. It's uh, it's interesting. It's eye-catching. The colors just work with the tone of the film. My one problem with this suit, and th this is a big problem for me, and I know it seems pretty picky, and probably a little petty too, but my problem with the suit is that the webs are too shiny. They are so shiny that they distract from the rest of the suit, which is amazing. So, I mean, they could have toned down the webs and it would have looked so much cooler. So by process of elimination, I think that the best Spider-Man suit is going to go to Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Now, as far as Tom Holland's Spider-Man is concerned, that suit, it looks amazing. The colors are dead on. It's got this whole feel of um, of like a futuristic comic book. I think that it's just so cool. The eyes move, which is super interesting. I think that at some parts they go a little too far with that. But, I mean, in moderation, that's just perfect for the character. Uh, the suit really fits his performance and the tone even better than the Tobey Maguire suit does. And I think that that's an easy first place for the suit. Next, I'm going to talk about the emotional depth of the characters. In third place is an easy Tom Holland. Tom Holland's character has zero depth. There is uh, a great personality on the surface there, but his character has absolutely uh, next to zero flaws. He is sometimes uninteresting, although mostly I think that he's a pretty entertaining guy. But the main thing that I have, the problem with I have with him, and I've said this, but I think that Iron Man is just too much of like a guardian angel to him, and he, and he never really can mess up. In second place, I'm going to give Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield was the deepest and the most sincere Spider-Man, for sure. He had the... You know, he had that vibe to him that was like, he, he meant what he was saying, he meant what he was doing, and that he was really, you know, a hero. Except for in his sequel, but we'll talk about his sequel later. Anyway, in first place, I have Tobey Maguire. And I say this because Tobey's character manages to be deep, to be, you know, in, in, incredibly flawed. And this is mostly uh, shown in Spider-Man 2, which, you know, many uh, fans love Spider-Man 2. I know I am one of them. And I know that's almost a stereotype at this point, but it's fine because it's a great movie. And it really showcases the depth of Spider-Man's character. And I think that that's also an easy first place for this category. Next, let's talk about some comedy. Uh, for the Spider-Men in their comedy, I'm going to give the third place to Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is not funny at all. He is dry. Oftentimes, he is crying a lot. And he's never making a joke, which it, it's just sometimes it's, it's hard to watch because there's just no comic relief. After that, in second place, I'm going to give Tom Holland... Uh, that one, Tom Holland is pretty funny, and a lot of his jokes land and are great and are quippy, and that fits the tone of the MCU very well, but he's just not like a comedy machine, he's just not like making you laugh out loud, you know? And then there's, uh, in first place, I'm gonna give Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And I think that a lot of people are unfair about that. But everybody can agree that he's a really funny guy. Like, his like his comedy sticks. It's funny. Um, of the Spider-Men, he's definitely made me laugh the most. As far as that's concerned. Seeing as, I don't think I laughed once in the Tobey Maguire series except for the third one. And that wasn't, uh, that, that, that wasn't because it was actually a funny movie. That was just because it wasn't a very good film. And, uh, yeah, I think Andrew Garfield is the funniest Spider-Man. 
And finally, I'm going to rate the three Spider-Man. The thing that you've been waiting this entire time for. So, in third place, let's start it off with, I'm sure you guessed this one, Andrew Garfield. Now, everybody seems to hate his performance and his Spider-Man, but I don't. I think that he did a really good job. And everybody, I think, is a little bit too hard on him. Just because the other two are so good and comparing them is so hard. Um, and I think that, that that's true. And I think that he's the worst one. But I think that he's just not that bad. If he was the only Spider-Man, you know, he would be Spider-Man. That, that wouldn't change anything. And while he was Spider-Man, he was Spider-Man. Now for the question on everybody's lips. Who is number two? The ultimate battle between Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland. Two amazing performances and two amazing Spider-Men. Ironically, though, neither one of them were actually called the Amazing Spider-Man. Anyway, let's start off with our number two, which, in my opinion, would be Tom Holland. And I know that everybody loves Tom Holland. Tom Holland is probably everyone's pick, almost. He's definitely the most popular Spider-Man, and I see the appeal. He's young. He's energetic. He's in this big world with the MCU. And I love the MCU very much. I do. But it's not the best place for Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man is such a large character. And, you know, Tom Holland is perfect for the MCU. And he's the best MCU Spider-Man. If either of the other ones tried to do it, they wouldn't be as good about it. But the thing is... When it comes down to it, he's a little he's a little fish in a big sea. And that just doesn't give enough space for Spider-Man. And by process of elimination, my number one pick would be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Now, again, anyone who knows me would know that. That that that's my number one. Because I love Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I always have. He's like a childhood hero to me. He will always be my favorite Spider-Man. And I mean, I would think that there may be a reboot coming out soon, but even nobody else could top him, just in my opinion. And I'll tell you why right now. With one sentence. A sentence that transcends the film itself. A sentence that transcends the character. A sentence that is used so often that it's probably the most quoted line from any Marvel film ever said. That line, and I think you know this just because it's that big, is with great power comes great responsibility. Something that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man has always seemed to show. And that's really the essence of what his Spider-Man is. He has a great power, and it's a great responsibility. It's hard for him to do. And sometimes he realizes that it's more of a curse than a blessing, but he has to do it because he's a good person and he cares about the people around him. He's a hero. And that is why Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man. So in case you can't tell, the elephant in the room is kind of that there's a huge blockbuster Spider-Man film coming out tomorrow. And I am super excited for it. And I think... All of you are probably also super excited for it. And I genuinely think my prediction is that this may very well become the highest grossing film of all time. This is going to be huge. This is more popular than any other MCU film. So far, it's more hyped up for sure. And can I remind you that the MCU actually holds the record for the highest grossing? Not adjusted to inflation, but they do actually hold the record with Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame was huge, and this appears like it's going to be bigger. Anyway, that's just my 10 cents. I hope you guys have fun at the theaters. This movie's going to be great. I'm actually really excited to see all three of them together, which, I mean, it's very apparent now that all three of them are going to be in this film because I think that their chemistry together would be so cool with Tobey Maguire as the, uh, the nice mentor, like the good cop, and uh, uh, Andrew Garfield as, like, the cool uncle kind of vibe and Tom Holland learning from both of them and becoming better than either of them would have been towards the end of the film. I'm super excited for this movie. 
I'm excited to see all three Spider-Men together fighting crime. It's going to be so cool. And uh, have fun.